Welcome to our The China Briefing program. Today, we've got a trio of tantalizing tales that are sure to stir the pot. First up, we're diving into the murky waters of foreign meddling in Canadian elections. A recent inquiry has unearthed that while the overall election outcomes remained unchanged, one particular riding in British Columbia might have felt the ripple effects of overseas interference back in 2021. Moving on, the cosmic chessboard heats up as the US aims to rally the world against Russia's nuclear ambitions in space. It seems the stars are not just for gazing anymore, as geopolitical tensions soar into the extraterrestrial. Lastly, we're taking a lighter turn with the tale of Bluey, the Australian children's show that's breaking all the rules. Banned episodes and discussions of flatulence. This lovable blue healer dog is not just for kids. So, buckle up for these stories and more. Please stay tuned for the detailed scoop. In a world where the boundaries of influence and interference are increasingly blurred, recent findings and international tensions have highlighted the complex interplay of global powers in the realm of politics and security. From the serene landscapes of British Columbia to the vast expanse of outer space, the actions of foreign entities and governments have drawn scrutiny and concern, raising questions about sovereignty, democracy, and international law. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, recently shed light on a public inquiry's findings regarding foreign meddling in Canada's federal elections. The inquiry, sparked by allegations of China's interference, delved into the impact of such actions on the democratic process. While the investigation concluded that the meddling did not alter the overall outcomes of the elections, it raised eyebrows with the revelation that foreign influence may have swayed the results in one particular riding in British Columbia during the 2021 elections. The Steveston Richmond East riding, where Conservative candidate Kenny Chiu was contesting, became the focal point of these concerns. Commissioner Marie Jo C. Hoag's preliminary report highlighted the reasonable possibility that foreign interference played a role in the electoral outcome, casting a shadow over the integrity of the vote in that district. Further details on the inquiry's findings and implications were covered by the Globe and Mail, which pointed out the gaps in the current mechanisms to protect Canadian democracy from such threats. The report by Justice Marie Jo C. Hoag emphasised the shortcomings in alerting the public and targeted members of Parliament, MPs, about disinformation campaigns. It painted a picture of a system struggling to adapt to the sophisticated tactics employed by foreign actors, leaving the democratic process vulnerable to manipulation. The inquiry's final report is awaited with bated breath, as it promises to offer insights into who knew what and when, potentially unveiling the depth of awareness and response among Canada's elected officials to the spectre of foreign interference. Meanwhile, the New York Times reported on a different but equally concerning form of international tension, the potential deployment of an anti-satellite nuclear weapon by Russia. American officials have been vocal in their efforts to rally world pressure against Russia, challenging Moscow's claims that its space device is intended for peaceful purposes. This comes amid growing anxieties in Washington over the militarization of space, a domain long envisioned as a sanctuary from earthly conflicts. The US's accusations are backed by intelligence that contradicts Russia's narrative, intensifying the urgency to prevent an arms race in space. The situation is further complicated by the perceived inaction of China, a key player on the global stage, in exerting pressure on Russia to cease its controversial program. This juxtaposition of terrestrial and extraterrestrial concerns illustrates the multifaceted nature of modern geopolitical challenges. In Canada, the spectre of foreign interference in elections underscores the fragility of democratic institutions and the need for robust mechanisms to safeguard them. Across the globe, the looming threat of nuclear weapons in space highlights the precarious balance of power and the importance of international cooperation in maintaining peace and security. As these narratives unfold, they serve as a reminder of the interconnectedness of global events and the shared responsibility of nations to uphold the principles of sovereignty, democracy, and peace. In an era where television content is meticulously scrutinised and often sanitised to suit global audiences, the Australian children's show Bluey stands as a beacon of creative resilience. As reported by Yahoo US, the beloved series recently made headlines with its decision to release a previously banned episode, Dad Baby, directly on YouTube, bypassing traditional broadcast constraints. 
This move is emblematic of the show's ongoing battle to maintain its originality and charm in the face of network demands. Disney, which distributes Bluey through its Junior Channel and Disney+, Plus, had initially pulled the episode, alongside another, Family Meeting, due to its references to flatulence. The series has faced multiple alterations by Disney, with 11 episodes adjusted for various reasons, including the use of certain words and imaginative depictions like unicorn poop. Despite these challenges, Bluey creator Joe Brum has staunchly defended his vision, pushing back against executives at ABC, BBC, and Disney. His commitment to authenticity extends to the writing process, which he insists on handling personally, and the casting, with children voicing the show's young characters. This dedication has paid off, as Bluey has transcended its Australian roots to become a global phenomenon, thanks in part to the streaming revolution. The show's ability to navigate these hurdles while captivating audiences worldwide speaks volumes about the evolving landscape of children's television and the universal appeal of its heartfelt, humorous storytelling. Meanwhile, in the realm of international politics, The Globe and Mail reports a significant development as Chinese President Xi Jinping prepares for a landmark visit to Europe. This trip, marking his first to the continent in five years, aims to mend frayed ties ahead of the US presidential election. Europe and China have found themselves at odds over several critical issues, including trade disputes and China's contentious support for Russia amidst the Ukraine conflict. Xi's itinerary includes stops in France, Hungary, and Serbia, with the latter expected to underscore China's stance against NATO expansion. This diplomatic endeavor underscores the intricate balance of global power dynamics and the ongoing efforts to navigate them ahead of pivotal electoral moments. Across the Atlantic, the United States is witnessing a wave of campus protests that have captured international attention. As detailed by the New York Times, these demonstrations serve as a Rorschach test for global observers, revealing varied perceptions of American society and its values. In some countries, the protests have inspired solidarity movements, while in others, they are seen as evidence of America's alleged hypocrisy regarding human rights and freedom of speech. France, in particular, views the protests through the lens of its own cultural and political debates, with some critics equating them to the dangers of woke culture and a threat to core Republican values. A notable incident in Paris saw police forcefully removing students from an elite university, highlighting the broader tensions surrounding these issues. These stories, spanning the spectrum from entertainment to international diplomacy and social movements, offer a glimpse into the complex tapestry of global affairs. Whether it's the creative struggles of a children's TV show, the diplomatic maneuvers of a world leader, or the contentious debates sparked by campus protests, each narrative contributes to our understanding of the challenges and opportunities that define our times. Together, they paint a picture of a world in flux, grappling with the demands of cultural integrity, political diplomacy, and social justice. In the bustling heart of China's Anhui province lies Hefei, a city that the South China Morning Post has spotlighted as a beacon of innovation and a testament to China's strategic pivot towards technological advancement and manufacturing prowess. Once a humble agricultural backwater, Hefei has metamorphosed into a dynamic nucleus of emerging industries, drawing the gaze of officials nationwide eager to decode its blueprint for success. This transformation aligns seamlessly with Beijing's ambitions to fuel economic growth through innovation and high-tech industries. Yet, amidst the applause, there linger whispers of caution. Analysts ponder whether Hefei's meteoric rise sets a replicable precedent or if it's a unique phenomenon, warning of potential pitfalls such as unsustainable growth and industry saturation. Despite these concerns, Hefei stands tall as a symbol of hope, showcasing the power of targeted investment in technology and human capital in overcoming economic challenges. Transitioning from the world of technological marvels to the dazzling spectacle of fashion, Yahoo! US takes us through the sartorial journey of Katy Perry at the Met Gala. Known for her audacious fashion choices, Perry has consistently captivated onlookers since her first appearance in 2009. From angelic boots to burger sneakers, her Met Gala ensembles have been nothing short of theatrical. In 2022, Perry graced the event in an elegant Oscar de la Renta gown, complemented by clear aquazura sandals, marking a step in the right direction towards surprising and enthralling her audience. Her commitment to the Met Gala's ever-evolving themes, 
whether it be the punk-inspired attire in 2013 or the avant-garde Maison Margiela dress in 2017, underscores Perry's status as a fearless fashion icon. As the Met Gala continues to attract global stars, with Zendaya, Jennifer Lopez, and others taking the helm as co-chairs, Perry's evolving Met Gala narrative remains a captivating saga of creativity and daring. These two narratives, while distinct in their domains, both encapsulate the spirit of innovation and transformation. Heffy's journey from obscurity to a hub of technological innovation mirrors Perry's evolution from a Met Gala newcomer to a trend-setting fashionista. Both stories are bound by the underlying theme of pushing boundaries and charting new territories, whether it be in the realms of economic development or personal expression. As Heffy strides forward as a model of technological growth and Perry continues to redefine red carpet fashion, both serve as inspirations for embracing change and pursuing excellence. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.